So you want to head over to Greenshade Continent, and you want to go to the Serpent's Grotto Way Shrine, slightly west of the map. Now once you get to the Serpent's uh, Grotto Way Shrine, you want to head a little bit northeast to Rolaniel's Fall, and that is a public dungeon in Greenshade. So here I'm just going to fast forward real quick. Right there, alright, then we enter the dungeon. Alright, so now that we loaded into the dungeon, um, I'm going to give you a quick... Right, right here you want to go counterclockwise, right? Just to go around the dungeon in a full circle. I like to go counterclockwise only because that's how I've been doing it. Once you get familiar with the dungeon, it's okay to go clockwise. It's, it's, either way works, right? But until you get familiar with the dungeon, just follow this. Right. We're going to close that up here, close up the map. And immediately head right as you enter the public dungeon to start your farm. Now, it is recommended that you bring a DPS character with a good AoE because this the eye lead plans drop from mobs. So you want to be able to kill everything you know, efficiently. Not too quick, but efficiently. So the first tip, kill every enemy you see. Only the enemies drop these eight rare A-lead furnishing plants. So it would make sense to have having to kill all the enemies. All right, so as you can see here, I'm just taking enemies out in a good pace. You know, no need to rush. Right? Got some to the left over here you want to take out. There we go. Take out. Boom. Boom. All right. So the second tip, don't kill all the... Don't kite all the enemies, and what that means is just bringing all the enemies together, like running through the whole dungeon, and then when 50 of them stack up together, kill them all. Don't do that, right? I found that, personally, uh, you just, you wouldn't get the plans as often. You wouldn't get as many drops as often. Uh, you would basically just get gold if you kill them too quick, which is ex the exact opposite of what you want, right? You want to kill them at a good steady pace to put you... Uh, to get you the furniture plants. And the, here I encounter another player, which leads me to the third tip, farm alone. Um, you don't want to farm in big groups because big groups just kill enemies. They just, they mow down enemies a little too quick. And uh, you don't want to do that because then you're just going to end up with gold and not a lot of drops. Right? So you don't want that. Several bosses here, killing the boss right when you go down through the stairs, right? It's a Deidroth, known as Ray. Now, because that player was just here, the boss to the left right here, he's gone. But there's a boss here and a lot of enemies that you can take out to increase your chances further of getting the furnishing plan. Now we're entering this corridor. There's going to be a group of monster or group of enemies here you want to take out. And immediately after taking them out, you want to go right because there's another little mini boss. So right here that you want to take out. Hanat the Bonebringer. So we're going to take him out. See, none of the bosses here are actually too difficult. Really low uh, HP. But you, you don't want to bring someone too weak because you, know, you can die pretty quick if you don't know what you're doing with a crappy character. So the fourth tip that I would tell you is to not be tempted to loot any urns, trunks, backpacks. And the reasoning behind that is when you loot... A blue or purple plan the game has some type of timer where you cannot loot another blue or purple plan for a certain amount of time I think it might be 30 minutes to an hour for a blue might be even more for a purple nobody knows the exact time but if you loot an urn or a backpack or a trunk and you get a blue or purple plan now you're gonna screw yourself over because now the chances of you getting an a lead furnishing plan from one of these mobs has now diminished so that's definitely something you want to avoid doing. So when you get near to the south of this public dungeon, you want to head down the stairs and then kill the mobs to the corners. So here I'm going to take out these guys. You want to take out this mini boss and the mobs here. And that's your second mob. I'm just going to kill that boss real quick before I get to the next mob. There we go. 
Just gonna snipe his ass. There we go, he's done. I recommend having a banker or a merchant here that you can... So, uh, I don't have one personally, so I actually have to leave and actually sell at a nearby town or my residence. Which takes a little bit of time and takes a little money, so you don't want to be doing that. So, the fifth tip that I can give is... Uh, once you find an A-lead furnishing plan from one of the mobs, you want to switch characters right away. Because... Because of the timer with the blue and purple furnishing plans. Right? So nobody knows what the exact timer is. But you, you don't want to be... There's no point in farming once you found an A-lead plan already. Because you're not going to find one for another couple hours if it's purple. At the very least, a couple hours. I'm pretty sure it's even more. Because I only find one purple a day max on each character. I've never found more than one. Blues might take an hour. So... Yeah, switch. Very important to switch. Oh crap, almost die here. <laughs> Let me use my vigor. Switching bars. Boom, vigor. Oh yeah, there's no enemies here. I'm, I don't actually remember if there's any enemies in that big room. Somebody might have just cleared it recently. Okay, now we're going to head into the final room. Lots of mobs here. There's usually a boss, but as you can see, someone killed it. Uniasil. Uh, sorry and I'm going to kill the mobs to the corners and the edges of this area and uh, this is the area where I found some of my eyelid furnishing plans and I will post a quick video clip at the end to, to show you where I got it exactly just to show you that this place is actually pretty good for alien furnishing plans so far I have found maybe I wanted sorry two I found two so I found the carved bench which is a blue plan and then i found a bookcase plan which is purple uh, and that's the most and i i've farmed this area be prepared to be farming for quite a lot of time because uh that's it, it's it's really rare these alien plans it's not like you can find crap in other dungeons every 15 30 minutes it's really really rare because you have to kill mobs to get it okay. so we're nearing the end of the dungeon we're almost done at a full circle heading up the stairs to clear out a few more enemies and after this, after this small mob here, see, we're right back at the entrance and where we started when we turned right. Okay. So thank you for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe.